As part of our project to try to identify genes for autism and for intellectual disability, we've been using families from Iran and Pakistan in which there's a higher proportion of uh, consanguinity of marriages between first and second cousins. For five families, we've uh, mapped a specific region on chromosome 9 and using various sequencing strategies we were able to exclude many genes within this region and then using next generation sequencing strategies we were able to identify mutations in a specific gene uh, that was, were present in all five of these families. So the, the gene that we've identified is called MAN1B1 and it encodes a protein uh, that functions as an enzyme. Mm, uh, right. Someone inherits two bad copies of this MAN1B1 gene. Uh, their uh, alpha mannosidase enzyme may not be able to function properly and therefore uh, glycoproteins may not be processed correctly uh, within the cell. In one of the families we identified what's called a nonsense mutation in which case there's a premature stop uh, signal within the protein which uh, effectively truncates the protein and makes the uh, enzyme completely non-functioning. Non so we think that nonsense mutation is the slam dunk in this situation that proves uh, that this gene is involved. So we see here a 3D molecule of the protein and uh, we're focusing in on the catalytic site of the protein. The glycoprotein substrate is represented by the yellow uh, molecules. Uh, the uh, orange sphere is a calcium ion, and the uh, blue molecules shown represent the amino acids that are uh, mutated in some of the families we've been studying. So having two defective copies of this gene MAN1B1 results in a number of clinical symptoms, uh, most notably reduced IQ, delayed development, so delayed walking and talking, and uh, reduced ability to take care of themselves. There's also an increased frequency of epilepsy within uh, these families and uh, several of the members who carry these mutations also uh, have issues with overeating and obesity. So to date there are only half a dozen genes that have been identified in, uh, as being involved in autosomal recessive intellectual disability. 